Yo, what is going on guys? It's Gamer here, bringing you another video on Boruto Next Generations. And I'm gonna go ahead and just jump right into the video, instead of just continuing on with a whole bunch of bullshit, because that's a lot of, bunch of bullshit, and that's not what you're here for. But anyways, let's get into the video. So we go ahead and we start off the beginning of the episode with this mysterious figure this mysterious black figure with the evil ch uh, chakra I guess uh, I guess what it is because um, I, I, that's that's what we assume as uh, as soon uh, we figure out whatever so something happens in the episode later on in the episode uh, Borto asks Hinata something I'll get into it later on when we actually talk about the entire ep episode right so in the beginning of the episode we see this mysterious figure it it looks like a person that's what it looks like with like the purplish blackish chakra that is like kind of surrounding him in a, uh, in a way and uh, it kind of looks like the guy from the beginning of the first episode uh, of Borzo I can't remember his name I apologize for um, not re not remembering I just can't remember for the for the life of me so anyways it uh, it skips off to another scene. Uh, where Shino uh, is teaching the whole uh, class uh, on how to use shuriken and so they start doing some shuriken training and uh, we finally get introduced to a character who is basically well Lee his, his name is Metal Lee but they call him Metal throughout the whole episode and I was really surprised to see this character uh, and like the like the first or second episode, I'm pretty sure I was really surprised to just like see him there and like the, the attire, the outfit for Rock Lee and Mike Guy because it's like is he like Lee's son or something? I I don't know, but well, I'm, I'll get into that maybe in another video. But I really just don't care at the moment. But anyways, we finally get introduced to a character name uh his name is metal metal lee he basically just looks like a different animated version of guy and lee that's basically who he is but his gimmick that's different from guy and lee is the fact that metal actually is not a very social person he's actually very nervous around people and throughout the whole episode they actually like gets him in trouble a couple, a couple of times especially in the beginning because uh, uh, Metal uh, gets nervous during shuriken training uh, he's trying to throw a shuriken at one of the, the logs and because he gets nervous he doesn't throw the shuriken right so it kind of just like flops on the ground and he's like oh I think it actually slipped out of my hand let me go pick it up Boruto comes out of nowhere with a demon wind shuriken he throws it like toward one of the logs which is kind of in the direction where Met Metal is standing at and so what Metal tries to do is that he tries to basically I guess deflect it or whatever with the leaf hurricane so we see that he does know the leaf hurricane but because he's so nervous that everyone's watching him do it he kind of puts his foot through like the hole where the four blades are on the demon one shuriken and he kind of like hits his head on one of the logs so it's just kind of like oh okay that just happened and so uh, the whole cast uh, th that we're gonna have to get used to now for the rest of the series they all get in trouble they all get in trouble so they're like we're gonna go ahead and uh, so Shino is actually like okay we're gonna make you do uh, some work like some community service work or whatever I guess whatever and basically what they have to do is because if we remember back in the beginning of the first episode Boruto and Denki, I apologize if I'm butchering his name remember how they kind of drove a train uh, into the into the Hokage's face being Naruto yeah well basically they go and work on that and that's kind of like what they do in, in like the first like quarter of the episode and so the whole time they're working on it and then of course 
Metal being Metal, he's very nervous and he kind of he kind of fucks up the whole thing. He kind of just shatters like a whole like almost half of Naruto's uh, statue face, and so it's just kind of like oh, and he feels bad. He feels bad for uh, what had happened, and he's like apologizing and stuff like that. And then Shikadai, uh, we kind of we kind of experience him a little bit more, as, also in terms of uh, uh, his his home life with Tamari and uh, Shikamaru, of course. And so he's kind of like you're being like too honest or whatever, like about like when you're like nervous or some shit. Uh, it's really weird. I don't know how to explain it, but he's basically just saying like he's basically just saying this, that, or whatever. Uh, like he knows. Like everybody kind of knows that Metal is like very nervous about stuff, and so he's like, "You're being too honest. Uh, you have to overcome your nervousness and stuff like that." And so it kind of it kind of upsets him. He kind of just like walks away from everybody, and then he's like, he's just kind of like upset and stuff like that, you know. So he kind of just goes off to where wherever he has to fucking go home, I guess. And then the next scene we see. Uh, Shikadai back at home and then we also see Tamari for the first time basically right and Tamari is being Tamari is pissed off at her child because she obviously knows that Shikadai got in trouble at uh, at the Academy right and she gets Shikadai is like no I didn't even do anything it was bored it was bored so he did it he did this that or whatever right Tamari is like stop making excuses and then Shikamaru comes uh, comes home from whatever the fuck he was doing, probably working uh, or helping out the Hokage or Naruto. And so he kind of goes ahead. He kind of goes ahead. I uh, apologize for going ahead. Uh, uh, whatever. <laughs> but he kind of has a little talk with his kid, saying like, "There's no such thing as a perfect kid," and that's very reminiscent to kind of like the real world is that no one's perfect and that's kind of what uh, this moment this scene is basically teaching us like no one's perfect like if you're nervous it's perfectly fine to be nervous but of course at the same time you you, you should overcome it because there's no reason why you should be if people like accept you for who you are you know but anyways he kind of goes on and talks about how like he won't become like rotten inside and because he's being scolded like the way uh, He is he's getting scolded and he's being lectured and stuff like that And so he won't be rotten inside because he'll he'll feel remorse and he'll understand why he's wrong and He'll be able to say he's sorry Or when someone uh, Like feels remorse when he apologizes and he's sorry whatever. I, I don't know what I'm trying to say kind of fuck that up or whatever so they kind of have uh, uh, Shikamaru kind of has a little bit more of a talk he's about to have another drink tomorrow he's like you're being too easy on him and that's why Shik uh, Shikadai gets in trouble it's kind of funny because then she goes off saying like I'm saying this for like the sake of the Nara family which is like really funny and then they both in their heads say what a drag and then, she, and then she actually calls him out on it saying like you just said what a drag in your mind didn't you and they're like, they're like surprised about it and then she says there's no dinner for the both of you and then of course they're surprised by it because it's like oh shit we fucked up didn't we <laughs> so anyways we continue on to the next scene and Shikidai is basically going to apologize to uh, Metal for uh, what he was saying and so we kind of uh, we kind of see what happened back in, in, in uh, kind of towards like the the second half of the first episode back in the first episode I should say that uh, we kind of see like this purplish dark like aura like chakra aura surrounding metal when he's arriving towards like the entrance for the academy and then we kind of see um, Boruto have the same experience. Uh, with his eye like back in uh, in the beginning of the first episode with the first scene and also the scene with Denki when he also has the same uh, chakra aura surrounding him so clearly the eye and the chakra or like the aura that's surrounded metal are connected 
and whoever is controlling this uh, this chakra aura that's also connected towards Boruto's eye as well so th that's gonna come a big thing later on in the series and obviously it will be because if, if it only activates when when the chakra is like activated like that it's really weird I, I don't I, I can't really explain but you really have to just watch the first episode so of course because like whenever you get like encloaked with the or the evil aura the chakra aura of course you're gonna like become very very like basically kind of evil and kind of just crazy and so he starts attacking Shikadai and then Boruto and uh, Inojin uh, they jump in they're trying to help uh, Shikadai because you know Metal's kind of going crazy um, they, they think he's like kind of like pissed off about what had happened uh, the day before and so he's kind of just being angry uh, at Shikadai and so he's just going crazy right so Boruto's is like do you have a plan Shikadai and she goes like she could like calm down I'm trying to think and then he's like run he's just like run away so they run away and then they could uh, establish a plan and so what happens is that Boruto uses his uh, shadow clone jutsu uh, as, as well as the transformation jutsu and while she could die is like somewhere else using his, using his shadow paralysis jutsu so that way he can basically paralyze uh, uh, metals uh, shadow obviously so that way he can just get him to fucking stop you gotta really see uh, the whole like situation like in the episode and it, it's all on Crunchyroll I'll put a link in the description uh, for uh, boards of the next generations because I actually have been forgetting to, uh, to be doing that uh, because I'm doing it for Dragon Ball Super, but I forgot to do it with Boruto, so I'm going to change my description so you, so you guys can go to basically the first link, uh, not the first link in the description, but it's going to be in the description. If you guys want to watch either Dragon Ball Super or Boruto, uh, those links will be down in the description. I will fix it. I will fix the description for uh, the two series you guys may be interested in watching. So, um, besides that, you know, like the whole plan works. Uh, Shikadai uh, uh, basically it gets the shadow paralysis jutsu on him and then he kind of just starts going crazy he starts going crazy he breaks out of the jutsu the shadow paralysis jutsu and then of course he gets kind of just because he's basically Lee he kind of like trips on himself and he goes flying into another log and then you know they uh, everything's like back how it's how it should be uh, they're going back to class or whatever it's kind of just like that and I thought that was going to be the end of the episode, but it wasn't. Uh, Boruto returns home. Uh, Boruto returns home, and then uh, Himawari is like, like, welcome home, big brother, stuff like that, right? And then Boruto's like, uh, I gotta study, I can't play, whatever, yada yada yada, right? But, but first they get, they're going to eat dinner, obviously, right? And so Boruto, because of like the whole like eye situation thing that was happening, uh, that was happening through like the past couple of days or like the past couple of episodes with Boruto he starts asking his mother who is Hinata um, the eye uh, their eyes are, are called the Byakugan and for those of you who don't know the Byakugan belongs to the Hyuga clan and basically they allow uh, basically the eye the Byakugan allows the, the the user to be able to see from large distance through any object as well as to see chakra and chakra points within a person and so because he learns about that information um, uh, oh yeah we kind of see a little like like glimpse and easter egg of Neji again and I was just like oh that's sad because he died in the war he gave his life that's sad anyways so because he finds out the information that the Byakugan allows you to seed the chakra of a person he's like was that thing chakra and he's talking about the aura like the dark aura that was surrounding uh, both metal and, and Denki and so that's why I've been calling it like a chakra aura cloak uh, because like I guess it, I guess it's chakra I don't know like I don't really know what it is right and so they're about to have dinner but uh, Naruto actually returns home he returns home from uh, doing all of his Hokage work and stuff like that right and Basically, Naruto kind of just goes up uh, and goes to goes to sleep, goes to his bedroom, 
because he's exhausted he's tired you know he's just he just kind of wants to sleep but Boruto you know if you if you guys have watched uh, the uh, Naruto the movie wrote the Boruto you, you guys know that Boruto kind of in a sense is like uh, why does my dad have to be the Hokage or why does my dad have to do this why can he spend time with like his family and stuff like that excuse me uh, I had I had a hiccup I'm sorry but basically he's like pissed off at his dad because he won't even eat a simple uh, meal that Hinata had prepared you know so he's like really mad about it because well uh, Naruto's the Hokage and so he's like always busy all the time he's always tired so it's like whenever he even gets home like from doing all the work that he's doing he's just like why why can't he just have a simple dinner with the family you know uh, I will talk about the rest of the episode which is basically just the final like scene or whatever I would talk about it but there's really nothing else that happens besides just a funny interaction of Inogen, Shikidai, Boruto and Metal and that's basically it but yeah, that, that's basically the episode. If you guys want to see the episode, the link will be down in the description. I promise I will change the description. Sorry for every single time I upload a Boruto episode review, it will be down in the description so yeah, you guys can go and watch it. It will be there. I promise, I promise, I promise. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video right here. If you guys did enjoy, uh, be sure to uh, leave a like on the video and subscribe to, uh, if you're brand new to the channel and I will see you guys in the next video I'm fucking stuttering, I'm fucking up my sentences but that's whatever because it's the edited video but yeah, peace out guys, I'll see you next time